Hey everybody, it's Craig back to here and in this video we're going to have a closer look at the Aperture Amaran HR672S. So we're going to do things a little differently. We're going to look at the different lighting patterns that you can create with diffusion and without. Then we're going to look at some of the potential uses that you could use this light for in your work. And then we'll talk about the specs. So first up, we're going to look at this undiffused. So what I'll do is I'll place this light about six feet away from me at about 45 degrees from the camera and down. So we're just going to have the one light. And then what we'll do is we'll add the plastic diffusion, the clear one first. Then we'll try the Easy Softbox Plus. And then we'll try it with the grid. So you'll see a number of different lighting patterns. And lastly, I'll just get a cheap $20 shoot through umbrella and we'll see how that looks as well. And then we'll get into some potential uses and how you could use this both in the studio and on location. And then some of the specs of the light. All right, let's get started. All right, we're back. And so what you're looking at right now is one HR672S with zero diffusion. So you can see it's very much like a spotlight. Look behind me, you'll see very dark, harsh shadows, harsh light on my face. Now, if I take a meter reading, it's about F7. So my settings are ISO 400 on my camera and I'm shooting at 24 frames per second. So that means my shutter speed is set for 50 and it's about F7 is my aperture. And the light is six feet from me at about 30 degrees from the camera. So you can see that's very bright. Now, if you want it to be brighter, you could bring it in closer. If we got into three feet, it would be a lot brighter. So you could use this outside and indoors as well. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to add the plastic diffuser and I'll let you see how that looks. All right, so now what you're looking at is the plastic diffuser. So I haven't moved the light. It's about six feet high six feet from me, 30 degrees from the camera at full power, just like it was before. I'm gonna take another meter reading and we'll see how that goes down. So it dropped down to F5.6. So whenever you add diffusion, you're gonna reduce some of the power, but you could see it's spreading the light a little more. If I look at the background, the shadows are a little softer. I'm pretty close to the background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the optional softbox. So this is the Easy Softbox Plus, and you'll get to see how it looks when you use the softbox. All right, so what we're looking at now is the HR672S with the plastic diffuser plus the Easy Softbox Plus. So you can see that it's a softer source of light. If you look behind me, the shadows should be a little softer. The light is spreading out a little more. And if I take a meter reading, we've dropped down from F5.6 with just the plastic diffuser to F3.2. So I've opened up the aperture a little bit. Now again, we're about six feet away. So if you wanted a brighter light source, you could bring it in closer, bring it in three feet. It's gonna get more powerful. So let's do something different. We're gonna put a grid on this and then you'll see how the grid restricts the light. It's a 35 degree grid. All right, now what you're looking at is the 35 degree grid in place. Now I'm gonna take a meter reading again. Now that's further dropped it down to F2.8. But you can see if you want it more power, you could just bring the light in closer. I just want to show you how the power reduces as we go through different types of looks and different types of diffusion. Now this is a much more sort of zoomed in look for the light. So if you don't want your light spreading all over the place, you would use the 35 degree grid, which comes with the Easy Softbox Plus. So the next look I wanna give you is just a cheap $20 shoot through umbrella, just to show you that if you have something like that lying around, you can also use that as a diffusion source. All right, what you're looking at now is the HR672S with a cheap, $20 shoot through umbrella. So with the mounting bracket that it comes with, you can use it with umbrella. So you can shoot through an umbrella or you can turn it around and have a bounced light source off an umbrella as well. And you can see it's a much more diffused light source. If you look behind me, the, the shadows, they're much softer. It's a wider light source. So you can use a number of different modifiers to make this light look completely different. Now, if I meter this, it comes in at about 2.5. So the aperture is about 2.5 at six feet away. If you want it to be brighter, you can just bring it in closer. So you can see you can get a number of different looks in the studio and as well on location. It's daylight balanced at 5,500 Kelvin. So it works just as well in the daylight as it does indoors. So let's go over some of the specs and then we'll check out some of the uses for this light. The light comes with a handy carrying case, which makes it easy to pack up and take on location, whether you're shooting outdoors or whether you're shooting at another studio. It also comes with two clear diffusion panels, one for daylight and one for tungsten. There's a look at the front and it's small and compact. It's about the size of an iPad, so it's easy to take on location. There's the manual dial, there's the channel, group, and the plug, and there's where you put the two supplied batteries. There's the batteries. There's the angled bracket for mounting an umbrella. And then you can see here, there's a remote control. 
Now you can see with that bracket, you can position that light just about any way that you want. There's a look at the back without the batteries on it. There's a look at the clear diffusion panel as well. Now here's the optional softbox without diffusion. There's the diffusion panel that you can use for a different look. And then you can use the grid as well for more focused light. Now here's a look at the back with the batteries attached. Hey everybody, it's Craig back to here again. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up for this video. And I'd like to know your thoughts about this light source. So post your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.